Okay, last we left off in this game, uh, we had a plunger gun. It was the most recent thing we picked up. I think I still have it here. And I think I'm trying to get this little creature over here. But I've already tried to do that and it didn't work, so maybe not. Maybe we gotta do something else first. Uh, the robots are super cute in this game. It's kind of awesome. I'm also willing to welcome... Uh, Oh, there we go. Welcome clues today. I seem to be stuck on something for a really long time. So that's not working. I'm not able to get to the thing with that. Let's see if there's anything else I can interface with on the map here. Hey, Flare Chu, how you doing? So I'll look around elsewhere and see what else I can find. I just really like the soundtrack in this game. I would like your umbrella. She wants her pet back. Okay. I really keep wanting right click to be dismiss what I'm doing. So if you see me zoom in, it's because I assume that's what that is. Go that way. Can't plunge the thing. I don't see anything else I can interact with. Just getting started here, I will happily accept a clue if you guys have one. Huh. Why would I want to move that? Maybe I want to move it the other way? Let's see. I can move it between screens is very interesting. I don't think I can climb it at all. Let me try pushing it back and see what happens. This game's very cute too. I really like the art style. And it has some very clever puzzles. I can push this into the water. Oh, it gets stuck right there. Okay, what else can I interact with here? Can't climb that for sure. Can't get anything over here. I want to know what this thing is with a little oil symbol on it. Plunger definitely doesn't work. Uh, can I solve this with the items that I have right now? I guess I'll take that as a clue, or do I need to backtrack and find something somewhere else? I have a key and a plunger gun, and that's all that I have. I can. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can get this thing up here. Yeah, it's all puzzles. Ha. Huh. Oh, interesting. Set it. Okay. Needs to be a little bit shorter, right? Oh, they can hop over each other. That's interesting. That's a cool puzzle. Okay, so I think I need to get all the downs on the very bottom if I'm understanding this puzzle correctly. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, but this is the only direction they go in. Okay. Let's try it again. So hop, 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 hop. Nope. Let's, let's try to break the degeneracy here. Not it either. 
try doing up first, that'll probably help. No, what's QuakeCon? I'm not sure what that is. No, I think what we need to do is we need to have them always matching one, right? Okay, I'm getting closer, I think. This is a classic puzzle available as a wooden toy. Oh, neat. I've never seen it before. All right, so up, down. Can you hop more than one? Am I getting the rules correct in this one? No, I think you can only hop one at a time, can't you? That's as far this down as I've gotten it so far. It's a cute puzzle. Either move one forward or you hop over one, and you can only hop over... I'm Maybe the thing that I'm getting wrong, can I hop? Okay, you can only hop over an opposite one, so down can't hop over down. And that one cannot, cannot hop over those two. Okay. I think once I have two of the same back to back, I'm in trouble. Oh, I can reverse steps. That's helpful. I don't have to reset it every time. Okay. Up can only go up, and down can only go down. So that limits what steps I can reverse. Okay. Gotcha. This seems closer to what I'm supposed to do. First try, oof. <laughs> Thanks for your patience with me. I've never seen that puzzle before. It was pretty cool though. And I wonder if I'm supposed to like drop it so it breaks open is my next guess. Let's give it a try. Did a Pac-Man game in Scratch? Hey, Andrea did a, um, a Scratch thing. She like, in a local Los Alamos coding competition, she helped a bunch of kids with Scratch. It's pretty cool. Let me try dropping the thing, I guess. Oh, will it not me let me do anything with it anymore now that I've solved it? Huh. I can't interact with it or reset it anymore. So I don't really know what that did. <laughs> I can raise it up. All right, let's see. Probably can't plunge it, right? I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go right now. Well, maybe having only one block is gonna make things work differently now. Let's see. Maybe I can climb up on the block. That's fancy. That's cool. This game is pretty rad. All right, another puzzle. Huh. I can't click the lights. They're just showing me a thing. I can turn the color though. So what does that do when I hit go? Nothing. Oh. 
Wait, am I moving the oil down there in the corner? Oh, I think I am. I think I'm moving the lights, basically, right? Okay, so I can press a button to make the thing drop oil. I see that at the bottom now. Play presumably makes it move. Let's see if I can reverse my first decision. Okay, I think I understand now. I have to wait for it to finish moving is why it was locked out before. Yeah, you'll come up in the sub uh, block rotation, Isaac. I'll let you know when you get drawn. What game are you thinking though? I see. Am I going to give it to drip oil? Because it's a robot and robots like oil. That's cool. Okay. Got it. Now let's try plunging him while he's distracted. Oh, you little creature. God's own adorable little robot creature. Oh, I love you. What a what a cutie pie. All right, we gotta be quick. First try. Haven't played it, no. Sounds cool. Works for me. I'll add it onto the spreadsheet for when you get drawn. Hello. <laughs> it's still connected to the gun. Throw my gun away. That's good. That means I don't have harder puzzles to solve. I like that this game is wordless too. Communicates everything with pictures. It has that, uh, the witness quality to it where an alien might be able to play it. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Isaac. <laughs> All right, so he can't blow in his pipe because there's a animal in it. He needs stuff. This guy needs a drum, probably. He needs a drum. He needs a way to get the little animal out of his... Oh, that's mean. These bullies took his drum away. Aw. <laughs> He's like a hi-hat man, too. His head's a hi-hat. Aw. It's a bummer. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna try to get you taken care of here. Doesn't want to move over. So this is what we first were trying to enter when we fell down there. What's up? Need money for oil. I like how they just established that the robots want oil. I see. Yeah, I really love how they make it so you can figure this out without any text. It's glorious. It must be a trick to basically fooling him on this one, right? There was no reason for that, buddy. Guess that's how I get the pieces. 
Like flypaper? Wonder how I'm gonna use that. Beautiful. Go cash those in. This game is delightful. I really, really like it. Here you go, buddy. Fix your cool saxophone. Oh, playing along with the regular music. That's delightful. <laughs> oh, that's a dancing robot. Look how happy he is. I don't know what to use the flypaper with just yet, so I'll pop it back here. Other things I can still check out in the um, oil bar. The team has really, really, really good conveyance. I'm very happy with that element. Oh man, I got a lot of freedom all of a sudden to go different places. Not locked. I got. I lost my key anyway. Okay. Infinity Town. That messed up clock up there. Okay. So squiggle is seven. Sideways hourglass is seven, and circle with a dot in it is seven. So let me open the notepad here. Squig tilde is seven, hourglass seven, circle with dot seven. I don't know what that means yet. Maybe there's a puzzle inside. Moon. And that's for infinity was the first one. Infinity. Moon pi is nine. Bird foot is nine. Little leg staff thing is nine. I guess it also looks like a six. Okay. So this person wants it to be infinity o'clock. Gotta figure out how to make it infinity o'clock. Wants oil, which I will try to get later. I don't have money for him yet, though. I'm glad it's enjoyable and not infuriating. I know some puzzle games can be infuriating to watch when you already know the solution. Like, oh my gosh. It's not hard. So he's not going to go up there. That's cool. There is a little bit of pixel hunting in this game sometimes. We got a crank, flypaper, and the oil thing that I need to collect for that guy. Don't think anything else for now. just doesn't want to go in that door at all. all right, so I still have more places to check out down here. Making sure there's nothing to combine with here, right? Okay. Oh, this is where I can get some free oil. Scratching his butt, waiting. Cool. Let's go cash it in. Maybe he'll give me some money as a thank you. I guess I'll scope out what else is down here. I love that this game dumps your old items when you don't need them anymore. Oh, this isn't a real door. I guess it is. Guy's got a gun. Oh, 
don't think I can really do anything to get their attention, so I'm not gonna try. There might not be any reason to beat him again, but I'll give it a try. I like that they're using nuts and bolts too, like it's just really cute. I didn't have room there. Oof. He got me. He boomed me. Try it again. How's it going, Game Saucer? So that's the pattern you want to try to go for to be able to boom him. Maybe the computer's smarter in this mode. Oh, he already won. I didn't see he was getting four there. Right, try one more time. Is this just optional? They just made it harder for your second attempt, I assume. I wonder why he goes for this weird pattern at first. He's trying to push two different paths to win, I guess. choice up there. Haha! Uh -huh. -ha. Bummer, I hope you feel better. It looks like that was just optional. That's cool though. They let you do it again. I think his AI was smarter on the second attempt. It seemed like it. I don't know if I'm gonna make a drum out of something. It's kind of a cool concept. Hey, dude, I got your oil for you. All right. I really want right click to be canceled. How happy he is. Huh. Okay. Oh, dang. More puzzles. There's a wrench man up here. Shower head. Bullies. Turn the gears. Walking in a hamster wheel. Huh. Maybe I'm just looking for the machine that I'm currently working on. Aha! Nice. And a red herring. I need three. Okay. So I need to find another one of these before I can solve it. To get this little hook though, so that's cool. What else is going on down here, I wonder? Oh, hey, we can see these guys from up here. That's cool. So I probably want to lower something, maybe? Nope. 
I'll probably want to combine this with something later so I can lower it down there. I thought it was going to be the flypaper, I guess not. Oh, hey. I use this guy to grab it. Nice. Fish it out. Sweet. see the arrow showing the direction of the flow. I need to figure out what turning these actually does, though. So it goes like this. Let me just set several of them and see if I can figure out if I can see the water not displaying on one of them, you know? Yeah, I'm not super clear on what cranking these is doing. Let me go look at the manual over there again. Maybe that gives me a hint. So I don't think I need to use this anywhere, right? One on the right has two feeds. Marduk RPG was a uh, sub block game. So if someone else puts it on their sub block or adds it to the voting spreadsheet, absolutely we'll play it again. It was an early one on here, wasn't it? his phonograph back. <laughs> Jerkwad. Now, is he saying, did I interpret that correctly, that I shouldn't really even attempt this puzzle until I get the phonograph back from down at the bottom? Is that correct? Or is there something I can do with this puzzle right now without having gotten the, that back for him? I can shut it in this stage, okay. Lower left and lower right. Let me see if I can understand why you're saying that. It says that the flow of water is coming from this one. So maybe I just need to stop all of its potential flows. So there's one more up here, right? Maybe this one. So it goes this way, and I can stop it here. I can stop it here. And it's going up through here. And I assume I'd stop it here. Tightening it is basically restricting the flow of water along that path. Am I understanding that right? Oh, wait, maybe it's this one. Nope, that's not. Cut off the pipe that's feeding the fountain. Okay, so I might need to go upstairs and see which one that is. Gotcha, thank you. It must be this one right here. So it's the third one, okay. So track, and there is already an arrow there showing us that.
So that's what I would expect it to be. This is the one that we need to have off right here, right? And each one we tighten restricts the flow in that direction. But it could come... Okay, so I need to track the other paths that water could be flowing from. So by putting it this way, everything that happens before this branching point is irrelevant. Okay, I understand it now. Gotcha. It's not quite it, but I'm getting a little bit closer. So we just got to track back from this one here and figure out the ones we have to block. So we definitely have to block this one off because that keeps water coming straight up to it. And we should have to block this one. And I need to block one more, I guess. I expect it to be this one since that connects. Will it give me feedback down here if I solved it correctly? Like while I stop seeing water flowing? So I trace this down here. I definitely have to block that one. I trace this one down here, and I should have to block that one. But I must be misunderstanding something. It'll react. Okay, thanks. Uh, this flow here totally connects, but putting it there doesn't seem to do anything. I'll take a clue if there's something I'm missing. I'm trying to show my logic here that I'm trying to trace the pipes to the branching points. So here's a branching point, water shouldn't be able to get to it. Here's a branching point, water shouldn't be able to get to it. He said I only needed three to be able to solve it. Three is enough. Should I be working in this direction instead, maybe? Like, I guess I don't know if that would make a difference. It shouldn't, right? We track this pipe. Goes down and around. Doesn't touch this pipe at all. Looks like I could shut it sooner. No, it doesn't seem to matter either. Sorry to be stuck on this one for so long. I, just, I don't have an intuition for what they're asking me to do. I thought it meant look for the cheat manual. Give that a try. I love how they make you work for it. That's fantastic. You have to do this little mini, mini game of shame to get the clue. It takes a little bit of time. So... You have to think about what you've done while you're waiting. This is one of the coolest things about this whole game, I think. The mini game of shame to get a hint. See, it's fairly long, and if you, like, fail it partway through, you start back over from the beginning. They really make sure you want that hint. I think this might be my favorite solution to giving you a clue in any video game I've ever played with puzzles. I could see making it a more involved minigame, depending on the difficulty of the puzzle you're looking for a clue to. Why I see it's one, two, three, and then let's see if I can figure out why. I like that they're just giving you the concept art for the puzzle solution too, it seems like. Why these three? Let me try to figure out why. What is that? Oh, I think I was doing the puzzle backwards. What you're trying to do is direct the flow into just one pipe 
instead of block the flow. Okay. I guess that, I think that makes more sense. Probably would have needed the clue anyway since I didn't have an intuition for it. Sorry that took me so long. I was stuck on what they were expecting of me. What would I do in the water though is a good question. Just because I turned off the... Get in the water, so that's not it. One thing I can do over here, I can try putting the crank in here. I totally forgot to try that. Doy. Okay, so they want it to be infinity o'clock, right? Which we said the tilde is seven, the hourglass is seven, and the circle with the dot is seven. I've seen that symbol over to the right somewhere, right? So sun is not six, and the leg staff is six. Ha! Huh. That's weird though, because the other thing says something different for that same symbol. Oh, the inside of this matters? Hmm. Why those show different values? I think that same symbol is posted up here, right? I haven't seen the moon symbol yet. Turn this thing some more and see what I get out of it. Disintegrated? Oh no, Leon, yikes. Let's try doing the nine one, I guess. So that's pie, bird foot, and leg staff. It's gotta be leg staff, that's the only one that makes sense. The other thing says that's also a six, so I'm not sure. Come on. Nope, that was not correct. And I'm not clear on why. Huh. Come back to it later when I have a better guess of what it wants from me. Oh, I never went up these stairs. Nice. More puzzles. Hour drive, yikes. Oh no, not one of these. Oh God. I'm so bad at these puzzles, I swear. I am actually the worst at this puzzle type. What the purpose of the... Oh shit, I lost a little piece. That might make it easier. You jerk! Rude. I like the little Space Invaders sign on this house, it's cool. Am I allowed to try to partially solve it while two are missing? Because that'll make it a lot easier. Oh, I see.
Was the piece that the little guy took? Oh, I can solve it with two being empty. Okay. Maybe that's the game having uh, pity on me. Oh, I do need it? Shit. Okay. Come back to it later then. I might have to look up a solution to that. I cannot do those sliding block puzzles. They just don't work with my brain for some reason. I couldn't tell you why. I need to have some kind of thing to open this door, which I don't have. Can't get to the bird yet. Don't think there's anything else for me to click on up here. Hey, loot effects. Hey, I'm digging this so far. It's very cool. <laughs> That's delightful. Poor guy. I wanted to try going up the other side. Robot Kitty's not happy with that decision. Can't reach him. Oh, have they made other games with a similar style? Kitty's back. Figure out what I'm gonna do about the kitty. Now, is it possible for me to climb him from the other direction, or is that not really how it's supposed to work? I don't know what else I'd climb up onto if I did that, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing with that being unplugged yet is part of the problem. I love that you climb up his back, that's too cute. Do something on the ground after pulling it. So I don't have a lot of time on the ground to do anything, do I? I guess I can grab the thing that he warns me about being too dangerous to do. I'll try that. Cool. Scare the cat to go harass the bird. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it didn't even mess with the bird at all. Ha. Huh. Can't use the flypaper still. I think standing up wouldn't matter. I think what this is accomplished. Just a multi-part puzzle. Yeah. Do I have all the tools I need to do stuff on this screen, or do I need to have items from elsewhere in the level first? Try to get his little gun. I do. So I have to scare the cat, probably. My guess. I can get the bird to follow me. That doesn't do anything right now. 
Once I climb up in his back, I can scare the cat, but I think that's the only thing that I can click on while I'm standing on here. Is that true? Maybe I could scare the cat to come the other way if I wait up here long enough. I don't have any way to interact with the bird though, right? I guess I can stand up tall, which makes him stand up tall. As far as I know, there's nothing I can do to get his attention. I can walk all the way over to the side. He's not significantly slower than I am. Is there something else I can click on to interact with the bird in some way? He mimics me when I stand up. If I could grab the cat and get the cat to see the bird, I think that's what I'm supposed to do, but... If I walk all the way over here, maybe he moves slower if I stand up on my tippy toes. only so much, right? And I can't move fast enough to get the cat to do anything. Let me follow the trajectory of the cat here. So maybe if I can get the bird here, so it'll run into it when it's on its way. Let's try that. I guess I can shrink down too. What does that do? It's as far left as I can go. I can't get him to move further on the wire. I can stand all the way up. Is there maybe a fundamental action that I'm forgetting exists, maybe? Oh, there's physics on the thing? Oh, crap. Oh, that's clever. Thank you. I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah, thanks for giving me uh, progressive clues as well. Let me see what happens if I wake up the cat now, if anything special happens. Probably not, but it's worth a try. I'm gonna try the block solving puzzle, and by try, I think I'm just gonna look it up because I, I cannot do these puzzles at all. It's gonna take me the rest of the session if I try it. Um, this is, what would you call this area? The roof, maybe? There's a website that has uh, progressive hints, which is kind of cool. I should have arranged them. Okay, I guess I can arrange them with two extra degrees of freedom, right? Two empty slots before you insert your other tile will be the upper left and lower right ones. Okay. I'm gonna try, but golly. I guess it's showing me the current direction so I can tell what's the inside of the cable and what's the outside of the cable. Upper left and lower right, okay. I'm 
so bad at this puzzle. It hurts me how bad I am at it. And that's the only part that I can take out, I guess. I wish not even. I just can't do it. I think that's the one. Go from the bottom middle to the bottom left. Then the middle left, that's right. Tile onto the one you'll be adding later above it. So that should be the one I put up here. But that doesn't make sense, so I must already have something wrong in this tile slot right here. That looks slightly better. Okay, alright, we're getting somewhere. Not all the way cheating, just most of the way cheating. Wait, that's not right. Even though it connects, it can't be right, right? It's also not right. Yeah, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. Something's wrong with my brain. I cannot do them for the life of me. Maybe this was actually supposed to be. No, it's not right. I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah, since it has two empty cells, that makes it way easier, doesn't it? Only one of these connects, but then it doesn't connect to anything. So I don't know how that's supposed to be possible. Let's see. The wire... Maybe the wire is supposed to actually connect and I've got this wrong the whole time. That's also possible. Hold on. Okay. I think I'm understanding what I was doing wrong. One second. Two degrees of freedom definitely help a lot. It's probably still solvable with one degree of freedom. This should still go here, does that make sense? It doesn't, but okay. It can't be right. That could be right. I guess that means that it's going off the top there. It's the only one that connects, as far as I can tell, right? Because this one doesn't. There aren't any that go back left like I need them to. I can't rotate this piece, right? It's a single line from wire to wire. Okay, that's helpful. Bottom middle, bottom left, then middle left. It has to be this one. Then middle left. Then I'll go to off the tile onto the one you'll be adding later above and continue on to the middle middle tile. be doing better now. It might be a little bit more winding than I think it is. I don't have enough height for that to be the answer though. I think that the thing I'm trying to do... wait a minute. Okay, okay, hold on. We're getting there. This freaks me out so bad, these puzzles. <laughs> They're not that hard. I don't know what it is about them. It doesn't work with my brain. Give me lights out. I got lights out all day, friend. I'm starting to see it. I gotta get this one up here now. 
I think basically any puzzle where it looks like you're almost there, but you're totally not, I struggle with. It's the same reason I struggle with cooking, because cooking's a very similar problem you're trying to solve. Okay, that's gotta be the bottom entrance. I gotta get this guy up here now, but I don't know how to do it. I'll be done once I do that, right? Okay. So, I have four minutes to solve this puzzle. <laughs> I gotta get this guy from here to here. The question is, how do I do it? I don't know. Without losing all the progress I've already made. Oh my god. <sighs> Super stressed. <laughs> Maybe that'll electrocute the cat now. There was no plan there. I just moved blocks randomly and hoped it was going to work. I think I'm trying to electrocute the cat. I think that's my plan. I need to do something with this wire to be able to do that. I'm gonna electrocute the cat now. And I can still solve this room with the tools I have right now. Is that right? I don't want to mess with that ever again. I never want to open that. I can only get the cat to run the one way. I don't have any way to force it to go near the wire. I can't jump down while it runs, so I clearly have to have done something else up top first. Oh, I need to mess with this thing? I guess I can always take the piece off, right? I don't know what that accomplishes, though. I guess I can just freely turn it off and on now. But to what end? Oh, wait, maybe I can grab the wire first? Okay. Does it electrify the rail? That's cool. I'll try it. Glad I don't have to do the puzzle again. <laughs> First try. What an easy battle. Poor cat's just being constantly shocked. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh my god. Okay, that's not that bad. Alright, well, I have a cat. <laughs> to what purpose? I have a cat, I don't yet know, but that's, I would call that progress. Just tell me I'm not dropping the cat in the water. Okay. <laughs> I'm done in that area, I assume, or should I save there? I guess I can try climbing back up on the ladder and see if anything else happens while I have the cat. Finding things, maybe. That doesn't make any sense. I don't really need that to be electrified anymore, though, do I? Alright, well, that's time. We'll pick up from here next time. Thanks, everybody, and we'll take a few minutes here as I swap to um, the next subblock game today, which is a video game, Slay the Spire.
Thanks for sharing. I hope you enjoyed Kai Mom and Kai Han. Have a good night if you're headed to bed.